Hey guys, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Today, I thought it would be fun. Oh goodness, I hope you guys caught my introduction. I should have just waited for a bit like Lonnie suggested. So I'll start over in case um, you guys missed it. It is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and today I am going to be doing a, a sales update for my eBay August sales, and also I had a handful of Etsy sales too. Um, but first, let me, um, See if I can't close some things here that are bothering me. I'm not sure why this is on here. Oh, hang on, I have to move the window. Duh. Okay, hang on, y'all. Be patient with me. <laughs> okay, let me close that. Okay, that's much better. All right, so let me say hi in the chat. Okay. You guys, I'm having a time today. So Rhonda got junk in our trunk is here. Hello, and Don Maserati. And your last name is so cool. I love it. Oh my son, can you hear him? And hello, Larry Spicer. And oh, treasure treasure hustlers, hello, and Chanta, hi. Hey John. And Mary's here, and Debbie, hello, and Lonnie's here. Okay, guys. And Mike's here, the crazy card, and etc. Emporium, hello, hello. Okay, <laughs> your puppy's name is Maserati. Treasure, treasure hustler, hustler says. Okay. Yeah, that is a super cute and cool last name, definitely. Um. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Val. Okay, you guys, so let me just share real quick what I got. I didn't get a bunch of things this morning at Goodwill. Did you, if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, you saw, um, you might have saw my post about the jewelry jars. Uh, one of the Goodwills I go to around here, they had like four or five of them this morning, and they wanted $49.99 each per jar, and I was, I was just blown away, so I had to take a picture of it. Um, and show you guys, but luckily the one closest to my house, they're, they're still pretty reasonable, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I got out for a little while today and it was crazy nuts. Everything is so packed. I guess people are finally leaving their houses after the hurricane and things are crazy packed. Um, I did some grocery, grocery shopping. I finally got some meat. We've been out of meat for the longest time. None of the stores around here had any. Um, <clears throat> I actually went and got my nails done. I got a pedicure too. See, I went with color, you guys. I got pink this time. So, um, and Karen Karen is here and Christy Jones hello okay so let me show you guys what I picked up this morning let me smooth these windows over I have too many windows open like when I'm trying to screen share something so it gets a little confusing for me so bear with me if I make some mistakes okay first up is this super cute little like um it's like a metal, colored metal, and it has, so you can hang it up on the wall. And it was only $2. Isn't that cute? Oh, you see my lava lamp? <laughs> oh, don't look at my messy room. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to sell this. I'm going to keep it because it's super cute. Um, and I also have a sun one that I picked up. I'm sure there's a name for this kind of artwork, but um, I don't know what it is. Okay. So I got that. Um, a hippie cat, yeah. Hey, Mike Warren. Okay, and then I got a couple hats, a couple snapbacks. This one says Galaxy Far, Far Away. And let me show you the front. So it is a Star Wars hat, and I paid a dollar. Wait, I take that back. I paid two ninety nine for that. So the new color, if you live in Houston. This week is blue. So the new colors start on Sundays. This week it's blue. And then this one, I thought, Lonnie, if you're watching, I thought this is something for sure that um, Paul Cantu would pick up if he saw it because he totally shops the Goodwill I go to. But look what it says. <laughs> so, yeah, it says that. But I thought, and it's a snapback too, and I paid $2.99 for it. But I thought, 
you know, like a little novelty hat. Somebody might want this, maybe. <laughs> okay. And, oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to price it at, Lonnie. Do you want it? I'll send it to you if you want it. And then I got this um, book right here. It's called Sail Caribbean Book of Seamanship. Uh, these type of books I've found in the past to always be worth something, so I didn't even look it up. Uh, you know, I'll probably sell it on eBay. I have to look at some comps, but I didn't even see anything on eBay like mine. So, uh, I don't know, probably 39 49 heck, maybe 59 I don't know yet. <laughs> but, yeah, I always pick up that kind of stuff. And then I got some groovy glasses. Groovy baby. <laughs> they were only 99 cents. And I always like to have fun prop stuff. You know, you never know when I might... Might need it. Whoa, 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 John. No, you're taking this out of context. It's not that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. With all the meat talk today and now, oh, my goodness. Okay, moving on. All right, so I'm going to screen attempt to screen share now my eBay sales. Um, <laughs> you guys are cracking me up in the chat. Um, okay, so I'm going to share my eBay sales. And... I didn't have that many. Sales are really slow. I wasn't really listing a ton of stuff either. You know, the uh, the kids have been home, and we just got a notification today that they are going to be out a whole nother week from school. So they're going to be home all next week, too. Um, but I learned something new today that has really worked out well for me. Um, I paid my son to watch my daughter. And once I told him I was going to pay him by the hour while I was out running errands, he was like totally cool watching her. <laughs> so um, I might need to have a little bit more cash on me so I can pay him if I want to do some running around this coming week without my daughter. Um, yeah, I tried to take her to go get a pedicure and a manicure with me this morning. I called last night and made her appointment and she didn't even want to go. I don't know. Like if my mom called, told me like free pedicure and manicure, I would, I would be there for sure. So, okay, I'm rambling back to the screen sharing. <laughs> All right, now I don't know how this is going to work because I've got like three windows open, but I'm just going to hope for the best. So let's see, screen share. Um, I don't remember seeing this application window or our entire screen. I guess I'll just share the entire screen. All right, then let me go over here and pick um, minimize that. Let's see. Okay. Well, now, like, can you guys, you guys are probably seeing my whole screen, aren't you? Are you guys seeing the chat too that I have open? Angie's here. Hey, Angie. Okay, somebody let me know what you guys are seeing on the screen right now. I guess I could go look at this other window, but there's a delay on it. Okay, can you see? Wait, if you choose application window, you can just choose that browser. Well, heck, far. Let me go back over there and do that. So you come back here, so your screen sharing. Look, there's a stop button for the screen sharing. I've never seen that. Okay, so I'm just going to click that for stop. Okay, here I am again. <clears throat> now let me try this again and just click the application like Lonnie said. So, uh, okay, screen share, application window. Okay, here we go. Duh. Thanks, Lonnie. Okay. So now are you guys, can you see the window okay where I'm sharing these shoes here? Okay, um, what if I can make that bigger, a little bigger. So I haven't seen in the, okay, okay. Garage fl Flits, Lonnie says it looks good. Okay, so these shoes, you guys, <clears throat> let me pull up my notes. 
I picked these up at a garage sale for one dollar and they sold for sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents they were uh, Harley Davidson flip-flops you can see right there it says on the um, side so yeah one dollar I I really do like to sell shoes a long time ago that that's what I started with one of the first things I started with so whenever I see fun ones I can't help but pick them up so I guess I'm gonna close these out as I go Okay, next one. And now I did a uh, coffee mug video not too long ago, and I was talking about um, these type of mugs right here, Taylor and NG. And this one is called Childhood Dreams. And I cannot remember how much I paid for this one, probably about a dollar. But they are just uh, really neat coffee mugs. And sometimes they can be a little bit suggestive. They have a uh, <clears throat> they have a orgy line, <laughs> if you can believe that. And it's animals in all weird positions. But yeah, they have a um, a funny sense of humor over there for sure. Yeah, so it sold for twenty six dollars and ninety nine cents. So that was a good sale. Here is a really uh, pretty vintage white cloisonne unicorn and butterflies uh, bangle bracelet. This one, I do remember it. I, pa I paid like $4.99 for it, and I got it at the thrift store. <clears throat> Once I got it home, though, I realized it wasn't going to be worth that much money. So, But I went ahead and enlisted it. I had it up for $14.99, and I was running, I believe, a 15% off sale. So they, it sold for $12.74. Okay. Oh, you like that better than the purple hand, Angie? <laughs> yeah, I know. I always got to be changing it up. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. You guys are talking amongst yourself. Okay. So these are really cute. I remember buying these. I bought these for $5 at a garage sale. And I got a best offer for $25. Uh, so I accepted that. They're super cute little Boston Terrier. I don't know how you say that. I guess it's Dav Rubber Rain Boots. And they're really, really cute. Let me see if I can find the... There's the logo there at the back of the heel. You can see it. There's a little closer. <clears throat> so yeah, these are super cute. What size are they? Let's see. Size 9. Yeah, they weren't my size or I probably would have kept them. Okay, are, are you guys seeing like the whole screen or is it cutting off half of my eBay title? I'm just going to wait and see what you guys say real quick. Drink a sip of water. Half. Okay, if I, but if I make it bigger, then I can't see the chat. Okay, can y'all see the full screen now? But then I can't see y'all. <laughs> Let me see if I can move it over a little bit more. Okay. All right, so if I make it full screen, I'm not going to be able to see what you guys are saying. H-E-R-E and H-B Picker and RAG-1602. You don't need the whole thing, Edgy? Okay, good. Hello, Stark Raven Wild. Okay, <clears throat> so this pair here, I paid, I want to say, I don't even remember you guys, I paid like $5.99 to $7.99. No more than $8 did I pay for these shoes. And I was running the 15% off sale and they uh, actually sold for $50.99. So that was a really good sale. Um, as you can see, I didn't use Nasty Gal as an adjective. It really did say that. 
uh, on the shoe. So it's called Shoe Colt by Nasty Gal. Very interesting. They had this like clear plastic part on the front part. So that was a good sale. I was really happy about that. Okay, now this doll. I've been talking about it a lot lately. Hey, Monica. Monica's in the chat. And Karen, hello. Um, <clears throat> this one I got at a garage sale. It was free. I picked her up and I was looking at her and the lady told me that if I really liked her that I could just have her. So, of course, I took off with her. Um, listed it high and I got a best offer for $40. So, I accepted that. And this sold during the hurricane, and the lady was really nice and very patient uh, with having to wait a little bit extra longer before I shipped the item. So I was really thankful that she was uh, nice about everything. Okay, now this one, uh, let's see, Rare Vintage Whiting and Davis Mystical Unicorn Etched Cameo Necklace. This one, <clears throat> the brand is Whiting and Davis in case you guys didn't know. And I paid, I wanna say, either $2.99 or $3.99 for this one at the thrift store. And um, that's not really the best picture, but that little hang tag there says Whiting and Davis. So I did get a best offer for $50. So I accept that. I thought that was a really good, strong offer. Okay, here we have a pair of Dansko Professional Clogs. These shoes, oh gosh, did I write it down? I think I paid either $5.99 or $7.99 for these shoes. I uh, got a best offer for $50, and I accepted that. That was a really good offer. And they are in like new condition, really good condition. Let me show you the pictures. Um, so yeah, real good condition. All right, let me squeeze this back and see what you guys are talking about. Oh, yeah, the doll's creepy, Karen says. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Angie says, oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, the dolls. <laughs> Hi, Hank, Alan Cash, hello. Okay. So here is, you guys, this is a cassette audiobook. Um, I'm pretty sure this was a cassette. Let me make it bigger. Because, yeah, I had to go to my storage unit to get it. Uh, yeah, cassettes, audiobook. And this, this was in a lot. I bought it at a garage sale for $40 uh, a long time ago, maybe the beginning of the summer, maybe even in the spring. Uh, but yeah, I spent 40 bucks and I got a ton of audiobooks, uh, CD audiobooks, and these were just kind of like laying around. So I just kind of threw those in the box before I made my offer. So I probably paid maybe about a quarter for this. And it was on sale, 15% off, so it sold for $12.74. Okay, now this is a good one. The Fable Haven uh, by Brandon Mole. This one... Uh, same thing. I'm pretty sure I bought, no, I take that back. I think I got this one at the thrift store. So it was probably like $1.99, $2.99, something like that. And it was 15% off. So it sold for $50.99. What is going on? Why is this up here? I think I accidentally opened another window. So let me close that. But I've lost the chat. I don't know where the chat is. I have no chat. Uh, okay, hang on. Where? Oh, now I can't see you guys at all. Hang on. Hmm. Well, let me try this. Hmm. 
Well, I'm just going to keep talking. I can't see what you guys are saying or anything. So I'm just going to, um, what have I done? Why won't it let me open another window? Oh, probably because I'm screen sharing. Let me stop screen sharing for a second. Hang on here. So stop sharing. Okay, so I'm back to me. So let me see if I can open another window now. It keeps bringing that one up. Why? New window. Hang on, you guys. I'm trying to find y'all again. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's not it. Wait, I think I found it. It's slowly loading. I don't know how that happened. But I still don't see the chat. Oh, wait, there we go. I see you guys. Can y'all see me okay? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get back to... Um, <clears throat> screen sharing again so we can finish this up. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, so <clears throat> this one right here, I paid, I believe, $3 for this CD, and it sold for $24.99, which was a really good sell. And here we have a book. I probably paid, I think I paid $0.99 cents for this book, God's Word for the Oil Patch, Fuel for the Soul. This one, what did this one sell for? This one sold for $16.99. Now this was fun. I had to get this just for kicks, right? This uh, call home pillow. It doesn't say anything about ET, but it just reminded me of ET, so I thought it was funny. And I think I paid, I don't know, a dollar or two for this, and it sold for also $16.99. <clears throat> okay, these are super cute little bitty kitty cat, like little vintage uh, carnival glass looking scatter pins. And I believe I paid a dollar or two for these at a garage sale. And they sell for $19.99, which is a really good price because when I looked at some of the comps, they weren't asking for as much. But I felt like if I was going to take the time to list it, um, I wanted to, you know, get some good money for it. But they're super cute. I had a hard time parting with those. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> this is a bolo for you guys, Dr. Demento. Uh, his stuff always sells real, real well. I paid a, probably about 2 or $3 for this one, and it sold for $39.99. And here is uh, Athena Airplane Collectible Pen. It sold at 15% off for $16.96. And Henry actually bought this during one of the reseller six-pack shows. <laughs> Hello, Pixlins Place. She asked, do pens sell good? I've been wondering. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I sell. Uh, pens. Uh, let's see. Monica is asking, is it music? No, it's more like a, um, 
like a live show, I believe, like where he he talks. Like I don't know if it's stand up comedy or what. It might be because he's. I've seen some of the other CDs and they're kind of crazy looking. Yeah, Henry, I know. That's the second time he's bought something from me during the show. Okay, why am I showing that to you guys? Okay, so here are my Etsy cells. <clears throat> so this really pretty uh, vintage, loose light, white, beaded, elegant purse, uh, purse by John Wind. I have had this so long, I do not know what I paid for it, but it couldn't have been that much. This sold for $16.99. Okay, um, the next one is this really pretty vintage peacock enamel and rhinestone gold tone brooch. I paid $3 for this at a thrift store, and it sold for $29.99. And these are real cute. They're little bitty uh, gold tone purple enamel. Uh, pierced earrings shaped like a little fan. I paid 50 cents for these at a garage sale and they sold for $12.99. And the mystery boxes, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I had two sales of mystery boxes on Etsy last month. One of them was for a large box and they paid $24.99. And the other one was a smaller box for $9.99, but they were all mystery boxes of jewelry. So I've already got feedback on one of them. They were very pleased, so, uh, so I was really happy about that. Um, let's see what Rhonda's saying. Got junk in our trunk, says I have a friend who only sells Halloween costumes and ugly Christmas sweaters on eBay. August through December, and she makes a boatload of money for her gift giving. That's a really good idea. And I will tell you, if I see an ugly sweater, I will pick them up year round and stash them away because they do sell. Lonnie's asking if I think the mystery box craze is over. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like it's still, it's only been a little while so I think that they're still pretty popular I would definitely never list one on eBay but uh, yeah it's fun to try on Etsy okay let me stop screen sharing stop screen sharing okay so can you guys see me now again that went by really fast and I know I always say this but I'm going to uh, try my best to to bring these kind of updates, you know, on a weekly basis. I see a lot of people doing it on a weekly basis. And uh, I mean, I didn't have a whole lot of sales last month, but sometimes, you know, I'll have anywhere from 40 to 60 sales. And that's a lot to talk about for one video. Um, oh, my goodness. Keeping it real with the Millers. Monica says people have started selling. Uh, the mystery boxes on Instagram. Yeah. Tanya, talk about that deer. That deer? <laughs> this deer, um, oh my goodness, I love deers. And I don't, I, I can't remember, did I talk about it yesterday? Did I say anything about the deers? There's been a lot of animals that have been, um, I guess, moved out of their home because of the, the rain, the floods and everything. And um, on one of the main roads close to my house, there was a deer uh, wading through water. And it was just like all you could see was his head and his big antlers. And he, like, he was swimming. I didn't know that deer could swim, but he was swimming through the water. And then, like, for my neighborhood, uh, our Facebook page, a lot of people, like two different people posted that they saw like a baby deer uh, with her mama at our park. And then another friend of mine posted that she saw some on her street and uh, took a video. It was really neat. I mean, it was neat to see all that, but very sad at the same time since, uh, you know, they've been forced out of their homes. So this deer, um, 
I probably got about a year or two ago. I don't know. I, I'd have to go back and look. Probably about two years ago. I paid $100 for him <laughs> at a thrift store. So he's actually he's actually the biggest one that I have. And he he's really pretty. Isn't he pretty? I just love him. What is his name? I can't even remember now. I gave him a name and now I can't remember. <laughs> Um, hey, Tam, Tam's place, Tam's place says, how are your cells in your booth? Or did you already talk about that? Sorry, I'm late to the party. No, um, you're fine. You're fine. I haven't talked about an antique booth in a long while. I need to, I really do. Um, but I tell you what, I had, I had like an amazing month. Let me think. Have I already cut? No, I haven't cashed out for August. So it had to have been July when they were running a sale. And you know, you pick the percentage you want. So I do 40. I always pick a high number because I want to blow that stuff out so I can make some good money and also, you know, put some nice, new, neat stuff in my uh, booth. So July was an amazing month for me. Like I had like a whole page and a, and then a little bit of another page itemized uh, sales. I'll do a, a video on my booth next week. I've been taking some video on my phone, so I definitely need to put something together. But speaking of that, so the plan is next week, um, Tam's Place and the Punchy Picker and myself, we are going to be doing a video on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time talking about our antique booths. Um, and we're all in different parts of the state, so it should be really interesting to see how they compare. Um, yeah. Hey, Vanessa. In Los Angeles, right? Um, I believe that's what you said. <clears throat> um, Angie asked, is my Asian mannequin gone yet? No. Every time like I'm walking and I cut the corner and I look in on my booth and she's still sitting there, I'm so sad. And nobody even wanted her at 40% off. So I was really bummed about that. <laughs> But she's so cute. Is she still there uh, next month? I ha might have to bring her home for my witch party and dress her up. As a matter of fact, when I go out there, I don't know when I'll go out there. Maybe tomorrow, next week. I'm probably just going to grab her and bring her home because she'd be a really fun prop to have at my witch party. So she could probably actually even wear a kid's uh, witch costume. So I'll get her something to wear. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait. Did Lonnie name the deer? Let me see if I can go back up in the chat and look. Um, Tanya, you are such a Texan. Wait, where did he name the deer? <laughs> I don't see it. Tell me again in the chat, you guys. Yeah. The little Asian girl is a specialty item. We need to give her a name, Angie. She doesn't have a name yet. She needs to have a mysterious name for the witch party. <laughs> um, okay, so um, let's see. Oh, you have no idea what they're talking about? <laughs> hey, Barbara, going on Grumpy? Yeah, she says that's crazy, $49 for a jewelry jar. That is crazy. And like I said, that's just that one location. Um, I haven't been to the other loca location that I frequent uh, lately, but the one that I go to, my favorite one that's closest to my house, they really have the best pricing uh, out of all the ones that I go to. Lolita, I like that, Hank. <laughs> Lolita. She will cast a spell on you. <laughs> That's so funny. But um, yeah, my other mannequin, she's like a full size mannequin. Her name's Delilah. So I think Delilah or Lolita goes well with Delilah. <laughs> okay, so I did uh, have some reminders here that I wanted to say. So I would like to invite everybody to come join my jewelry group on Facebook. It's called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And then I also have a resellers group called Third Coast Resellers and Beyond. Uh, both of those are on Facebook. 
and um okay so sorry i got busy reading the chat and then saturday night uh Dwayne mothership products does his msp auction shows and that is going to be at 7 p.m central standard time and michael is going to be on there this week that is the rolling picker um, he also has a youtube channel if you guys want to go check him out uh, and please subscribe to mothership products on youtube that way you will get notifications whenever he goes live and he's doing the auctions and also the reseller six pack is going to be on andy's channel this sunday at 7 p.m central standard time and that is um, the Parrot Head Picker. So be sure to go and subscribe to the Parrot Head Picker here on YouTube. Hey, Steven Staff. Um, let's see. And that's all I got for reminders, you guys. Let's see. Angie and I, Treasured Vintage, will be doing another Jewelry Detectives show on let's see so not this wednesday but it will be next wednesday i don't even have my calendar here with me so i can't tell you the date but we have like uh three guests planned out so if you guys would like to be a guest on that show either contact me on facebook or here on youtube you can also contact angie treasured vintage if you'd like to be a guest on our show <laughs> Hank um, is asking uh, Steve and Steph if they are still going through their jewelry today. <laughs> yes, and we're going to have uh, Monica on too. She is going to be on the Jewelry Detective Show with Angie and myself. So do you guys have any questions before I close this out? Yeah, it's finally Friday here, but there's not a whole lot for me to get excited about because uh, there's not any garage sales, you know, respectfully. So with everything that's been going on with Hurricane Harvey, but, uh, you know, I'm not really worried about it in the least bit. I've got t death piles to keep me busy, you know, for like five years. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so... Oh, we have 52 watchers. Hello, 52 watchers. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to say. Uh, Karen's at the beach is asking, excuse me, did we ever lose power? We didn't. Can you believe it? So blessed. So let me scroll up here in the chat. In the chat. Um, Hank says, y'all definitely keep up the modeling. You may find a whole new market of buyers. <laughs> oh, you're getting the remnants now in Kentucky, Tam. Yeah, I know that Lonnie um, and Candace got a lot of rain, too, over there in Louisiana. So and now we got that other one out there, Irma. I don't know where that one's going. I haven't watched the news today. Um, keeping it real with the Millers, Monica, message me about something. If I forget to message you whenever this is over, I want to talk to you about something else that just came to my mind. <laughs> so I guess if you guys don't have any more questions, I'll go ahead and close this out. I need to go, um, <clears throat> watch a fantasy football video that, John has put out for us that are doing the fantasy football because we are doing the um, draft tonight at eight eight o'clock. So yeah, I don't really know anything about it. <laughs> so I need to go watch that video he put out for us. Okay. Okay. So Hank says, "Stupid Irma needs to pack up her toys and go home to dissipate. Ain't nobody got time to play with her, right?" <laughs> All right, you guys, um, thanks so much for coming in on this video and hanging out in the chat with me. 
uh, is Kurt helping me? Lonnie asked. No, he is so busy at work. He probably won't be home till late uh, for like the rest of the year. <laughs> he is selling cars left and right, you guys. So many cars were flooded here in Houston. So, Dwayne, you're super late, buddy. <laughs> I'm just about to close this out. <laughs> But I did plug your show for Saturday night and asked everybody to go subscribe to you. So Dwayne's in the chat. He's Mothership Products. If you go to those three dots there by his name, you can click on um, go to his channel and subscribe. So be sure and do that. Okay, you guys. Uh, thanks again for joining me in the chat. Always love to see everybody. And I enjoy talking with you guys. And have I ever put out a sales update video this fast? <laughs> like never. <laughs> So I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and um, we will see you in the next one. I'm sure I'll come on live tomorrow and talk about something. Uh, so we will see you then. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.